I am uh, Vicente Pechuan Vilar. I'm the electronics coordinator for the Honda World Superbikes. I'm going to be giving you an overview on the uh, electronic systems on the CBR 1000 R. These bikes have more than 220 horsepower. This is an immense amount of power and you need advanced electronics to be able to control it and make the power rideable, so that's why they are necessary. In our case, we have the five buttons on the left handlebar. One is to activate the pit limiter, another is to activate the launch control. You have a central button to scroll between the strategies that you can act upon, and plus and minus to increase or decrease the level of the intrusion of some uh, strategies on the bike. Typically, as the tire drops, you're going to have obviously less grip on the rear tire. You can expect uh, the rider to need to change the traction control to render it more or less intrusive as he likes. The first thing that happens when the bike comes to the box is that uh, we plug the cable and we start downloading the data from the ECU. At the same time, the rider is going to sit down to tell you his feelings, his thoughts. This is where riders such as Leon Kamir is so good at because he's able to give very precise directions within a very, very large amount of things happening. Then, as the data is downloaded, all the guys will start to open their windows full of graphs of colors to try to understand how the bike has been behaving and where things can be better. And you try to mix this data with the rider indications and your own experience, trying to put everything together. So this is one of the many components of the bike. It's called the IMU or inertial platform. It has actually 12 sensors inside and it's going to allow us to know the lean angle of the bike at each instant. So as it rolls and also pitches, we know what the bike is doing at each moment. So we are going to just focus on a given part of the track. We zoom it, we understand what's going on and then we can just act here and not in any other part of the track. You cannot imagine the amount of things that you need to put together to the pinnacle, to the perfection, to make a radar and a bike go so incredibly fast on the track. From the electronics, to the grip of the rear tire, to how the rider is riding, to try to match all the changing conditions. All of this it needs to be put together at an incredible level of perfection to be able to uh, perform as they do on the track. Thank you